I want to thank everybody for being here with us tonight. Um, I know I've met many of you either through a lot of you take classes at PCCA or just we've had the chance to meet tonight. For anybody I have not met, my name is Sean Hayes. I'm the executive director with Paint Creek Center for the Arts. Um, first of all, I want to give a big thank you to the Strand Theater for letting us host this tonight. They have been fantastic working with us. Um, Annie has done a fantastic job helping us out all the way. So round of applause for the Strand Theater. I also want to thank a couple companies who have uh, helped sponsor this event tonight. Uh, those are Genesis Credit Union and the DeBrusen Law Firm. Thank you to both of them. I also want to thank the Michigan Arts and Culture Council and the National Endowment for the Arts for supporting all that Pain Creek Center for the Arts does. Thank you to both of them. I wanted to give a shout out to Jenny who uh, is our exhibitions manager and has set up everything here today, done all the placement of the artwork, so fantastic job to her. And lastly, I want to thank all of the artists who have contributed to this amazing exhibit that you guys see here today. Uh, we have over 100 pieces featured from 48 different artists. Those artists include many of our Paint Creek students, uh, many of our talented faculty, a lot of our art market artists, our holiday art market artists, and then many that you'll see at the Art in Apples Festival in September. This show will continue through October 29th, at which time we will do our closing reception right here upstairs again. We will also be celebrating Paint Creek Center for the Arts 40th anniversary that night. So yes, 40 years in business, so something worth checking out for sure. We are gonna announce our winners here tonight, but first uh, I believe we have Kyle from The Strand that we wanted to hear from. Thank you. Well, good evening everybody, and welcome to the Flagstar Strand Theater. Thank you for coming. We're so blessed to have you all here tonight. Um, this has been a dream of mine since we started putting this project together in 2014 to a $20 million re redevelopment project here, and we took four buildings, put it in the one. The theater was built in 1921. Um, all these buildings actually were built right around that same time, and it's a, obviously a historic uh, building. It was built as a, um, a vaudeville theater, um, and then in the late 30s it turned into a movie theater and it was a movie theater up until the 60s when the megaplexes started getting built um, out in the suburbs and stuff we do have events we do run um, annie runs our basic our nonprofit. we have a nonprofit here uh, through the nonprofit, we have donated the space for this art art show so we're really excited to be involved in that so thank you um, one of the visions that when we we're doing this was this space up here this is actually our mostly used space of the theater, and we designed this space to be an art gallery. And up until Annie came here and took that and ran with it, with you guys being here, these walls were empty. And it always felt empty in here, although we get energy from the events coming here. When I walked in here, uh, Annie and I have this little thing we, we talk about. When I walked in here earlier today and I saw this, I actually got goosebumps, Annie. You know, you know that's, that's what we do. So thank you, the artists, you guys are fabulous. This is beautiful work. I am so blessed to have this on these walls in this historic building to show the community. So thank you, um, my, my hands, my hat to, to you. So again, thank you for coming and enjoy the rest of the evening. Next, Annie, you were going to announce the Strand's Choice. Welcome to the Strand Gallery. Um, you are the first people here in a dream. I've been back in Michigan about two years. I ended up um, returning back home. I wanted to end my career in Michigan where it started. I am um, Detroit born, Rochester raised, before Rochester became Rochester. And that means I grew up on a dirt road, but I am a Adams High School graduate and um, Oakland University, go Grizzlies. Um, I worked at Meadowbrook Hall for 12 years, and it's built my career in the arts, um, and it was important to continue. And um, also, um, I'm pleased to say I was um, the director of the Art in Apples Festival for quite a few years. And actually, my stepmom was one of the original committee that started Art in Apples. So here I am at, you know, bringing, it just happened, right? It just kind of happened. And this is full circle for me. And I'm just so grateful to see art. My, um, I've never worked in performing arts before. It's always been the visual arts. So this is my gig, right? You all are my gig people, OK? I get you. <laughs> Put me on a stage, and I'm, uh, I'm numb. <laughs> but here, I'm all good. So thank you for being here. And this is, we're going to be doing a ribbon cutting with Maggie and the Rochester Regional Chamber, again, one of my former homes. Um, in 
in October as we do official ribbon cutting um, to, for the Strand Gallery. And we have a call to artists um, there, but I'm also looking at working with associations and other nonprofit organizations. So um, I asked the staff to go around and pick their favorite um, painting. We didn't agree at all, so <laughs> so um, so I made the um, the final decision, and this is uh, a fifty dollar gift certificate to Charlene. Some of you, some of the staff at PCCA, have enjoyed Charlene's. <laughs> it is our theater bar craft cocktails. It's just amazing, and that building, I believe, Kyle, I think it's older than this building. So the winner for the Strand Gallery Award is Maria Blank for Somewhere Inside the Akashic Records. So Maria, you won the Strand Gallery. You're our first official. Yes, thank you. And I honor all teachers, because I get you. I totally get what you do. Yes. Thank you, Annie. Uh, with that, we would now like to announce our top three winners. So, in third place, we have Yates Park, Rochester Hills, Michigan by Steve Curlin. Over this way. In second place, we have Liberation 2022 by Julie Kropp. And in first place, we have Central Park Taylor by Peggy Whiteley. Congratulations to each of our winners. Thank you to everybody for participating. As we mentioned, this show will be up through October 29th. That will be our 40th anniversary celebration and closing reception. We encourage you to stick around tonight. We've got some drinks at the bar, a special Art and Apples drink. Keep that in mind. Also some fantastic catering from Silver Shamrock Catering. So please stick around. All of our winners, we want to get some pictures with you and your artwork. So come on up. Thank you. Thank you.